drive. It's just past 8 o'clock. The road's very corrugated. Uh, it's only 4 degrees outside, so I woke up to a very chilly morning. But it sun's out, clear skies, so hopefully it's going to warm up nicely. Kubiki Kwap is the most amazing waterhole. Every morning thousands of birds come in en masse and they fly in and out rapidly to avoid the raptors that are ever present around these water holes. It would appear that as they fly in en masse like that it's tried to confuse the raptors as they swoop in. If you watch the suit to the end of this clip you'll notice these raptors, particularly the Lano falcons, as they fly in. We were lucky we sat here for many hours and we saw one of these sand grouse being caught. Another interesting thing is to watch these sand grouse. They are the most amazing birds and we'll talk a little bit more about them just now. The sand grouse is a really interesting bird. Because they eat mainly seeds and have a very low water content, they have to fly in every day to drink, and this normally happens in the early morning to mid-morning, and sometimes in the late afternoon. But something to be really noted is the males. They have specially adapted belly feathers, which absorb moisture or water from these water holes, and that they carry back to their chicks. So, be on the lookout for these males as they sit in the water you'll see them dipping their rear ends into the water continuously and that is the reason that they do that just to fill up those pouches and fly back to their chicks. We are sitting at Mari Sahat, which is 11 kilometers from camp. It's about half past four in the afternoon. And there's one red heart of and one ostrich. So far. It's very, very quiet.
Roikop waterhole is a really picturesque waterhole and it is just about five kilometers from the south gate of Nosok. We spent many hours here watching these kudu coming in from the hills behind us. They were very nervous, not sure why we couldn't find anything in the area, but they were very, very nervous and very aware, possibly because they had some youngsters with. But we were rewarded by sitting here until the very end when the massive bull did an enormous leap for us. So continue watching this clip through, right through to the end. It is very beautiful watching these animals. And just to see that bull, what a reward. Busy with a late afternoon drive, 
gate's about to close in about uh, another three quarters of an hour. Uh, not too far. And just having a look at these beautiful wildebeest here. And just a little bit of interest, this whole side of the South African Kalahadi's boundary is this Nosob River. That's what we're looking at at the moment. It runs right through from north to south. And this is actually the border between South Africa and Botswana. And right down the middle of the Nosob River are these beacons. Uh, just see if I can zoom in. There's one right here. That one there, hopefully, comes out right in the middle. The little concrete beacons. And that indicates the border between Botswana and South Africa. So we're currently in the South African side. But being a, a transfrontier park, you can drive any part of this without having to go through passport control as long as you don't go through any of the international border posts. So we have been driving literally along the Botswana South African border since Tuerifir and up to Nosop. Due to the grass being very tall in the Khalakhadi while we were there, we would probably have driven past many lion, just lying in the grass and we would never have known that they were there. This lion that we came across had been in the road and apparently they had two young cubs with her. She disappeared into the grass quite quickly and although we could see the cubs scrabbling around in the undergrowth, we could not see them clearly. This is the only lion we saw in the Khalakhadi and we were there for six days and yet other people see them daily, so it's the luck of the draw. But what a beautiful sighting and what a beautiful creature. We really wanted to film the legendary meerkats of the Khalakhadi, but unfortunately we did not encounter them or they were too far off for our camera equipment. So we set up the camera in camp and just filmed these beautiful ground squirrels. They're all over camp, in fact they're all over with the Khalakhadi, but they are so inquisitive and just as legendary as the, the meerkat.
And so we come to the end of part three of our Khalakhadi trip. Please join us in part four as we continue the Khalakhadi exploration and then we head off to the Namakwa Ika Trail. Remember to subscribe and click the bell button and look forward to seeing you in our next part four.